Um, is, are you excited about the challenge or more intimidated by the size of it? I would not have come if I wasn't excited. I have a great deal of passion to see change in education, and I certainly think New Mexico has a great opportunity to improve. Um, we really are, there's, I mentioned there's an indictment, and I said there's no silver bullet, but there are principles, and it's time for change. We're 49th in the nation on fourth grade reading when it comes to national assessment of education progress, and uh, that means we've got a lot of room to, to move up. Mm -hmm. and so I'm committed to seeing and working with others. I, I really don't believe this can happen just one individual, I think it's going to take an entire state saying we want change and making that commitment. You also said earlier this morning that reading and literacy you thought was a key. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure. Um, between K, kindergarten and third grade, our, our students are learning to read. After third grade, they're reading to learn. And so I really believe third grade is a, a key point. Um, one of the things Governor Martinez has talked a lot about, though, is not not continuing the social promotion, it, we've got to stop that. And what I mean by that is, let's not move our students on to the next grade if you're not ready. But there's certain gateway years that are very, very important. That's true across the board when it comes to third grade, fifth grade, and eighth grade, that, that you know elementary, middle, and high school gateway grades. We really need to put an emphasis there and say no more. No more sending our students ill-prepared to the next grade. But I would doubly emphasize third grade because it is such that such a gatekeeper on our students actually reading to learn or learning to read. And if they're not equipped, we're setting up for failure. Now you're going to get some resistance somewhere, maybe from a number of different places. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you had some in Florida. Mm -hmm. what, what are you going to do to try to um, smooth over the road there? Change is tough. And, but I, my, I said earlier, my sense is New Mexico is ready for change and really uh, desires that. And so I look forward to partnering with all those, whether it's parents, teachers, principals, superintendents, school boards, and communities to make that change. I've also heard that you're interested uh, in the uh, grading schools A through F. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about, about mm -hmm. that? Well, when we talk about engaging the community and parents and teachers, etc., we know one of the most important things is that they understand where we are so they can have some ownership in the change. I believe transparency and accountability, and I, I believe grading schools A through F, easily understood. We know what every parent across the state of New Mexico knows. If their child is going to an A school, that's a good thing. If they're going to an F school, it's a bad thing. And I think it gives an opportunity for folks to feel equipped with some information and data to, getting, to be engaged and create change, and it will take that. As secretary, could you make that change on your own, or you have to make it through the legislature? It, How does that work? It will require a partnership with the legislature to, to make sure that our accountability system actually captures um, the progress or lack thereof at schools and then provides an easy, easy way to describe what's happening in our schools. Last question for you. You were in there with a number of superintendents from some small um, areas down, small communities down in southern New Mexico. Um, are you getting a sense that um, there's going to be pushback there or there's going to be cooperation with these changes? You know, um, across the board with superintendents, I met with the um, president of the Superintendents Association, we had a wonderful conversation and I've heard nothing but positive things about folks wanting to see change and so I think we're going to have a great partnership. All right, Hannah Scandera, thank you very much. Thank you.